if you opened your front door and found a bag with like a million dollars in it, you'd want to know who gave it to you. Apparently not if you're Christian Porter, Scott Morrison's Liberal Cabinet Minister. He thinks it's okay to take large sums of money, not knowing where it came from, to fund his private legal fight with the ABC, no questions asked. He's trying to use a sneaky blind trust to get around proper public disclosure, a lawyer's trick with parliamentary rules. Well, it's not okay. What if the money came from criminals or a foreign power or lobbyists or people who stood to benefit from his decisions as the industry minister? Did he ask the security agencies? He's trying to get away with the idea to, to make Australians think that it's okay for a cabinet minister to take large donations and not say who they came from. I mean, you're sitting in your office and a guy with a balaclava walks in and says, oh mate, here's a million dollars. And he walks out and you go, I'll keep the million dollars because I didn't know who he was. That's not okay. It doesn't pass the pub test, even when for millions of Australians, the pubs are closed. Australians don't think this is okay. Let's be clear, if Christian Porter doesn't know who gave him the money, then he should not take it. Now, Scott Morrison has three choices. He should sack him today, make him repay the money, or at the very least, disclose where the money came from so Australians can make their own judgments. Transparency is key. Now, I reckon Scott Morrison's gonna cave in. I reckon the public pressure will get too much, and he always hangs on until the last possible moment, uh, and then he'll dump him overboard, I think. But this is not an isolated incident. That's the point. It's the culture of this government the most corrupt government in Australian history. We've got sports rorts and regional jobs rorts and car park rorts and airport land scandals. I mean, Scott Morrison's even found a way to rort the vaccine program, giving 340,000 doses of Victoria's Pfizer, being the Prime Minister for New South Wales, to give to his home state. Now, I also think that there needs to be still an investigation into the allegations against Christian Porter. They've never been properly investigated. They're horrific and they're serious, as everyone acknowledges. Uh, but Australians need to be satisfied, if this bloke stays in the Cabinet, that he's a fit and proper person to hold the office of Cabinet Minister. A private defamation suit is not a proper investigation. Now, it's no wonder that Scott Morrison still refuses that he's failed to introduce a proper national anti-corruption commission. Only a Labor government will introduce a National Anti-Corruption Commission with teeth. Now, Australians cannot afford three more years of this incompetence. His failure to manage the pandemic, to build quarantine, to get enough vaccines, to do his two jobs, and now distracted by this scandal after scandal in the most corrupt government in Australian history. I think Australians are going to see through this and they're going to vote him out. And that day cannot come soon enough.